My grandfather, M.V. Dillingham, was so deeply angry. He had hatred in his heart for his brother-in-law. And so he got himself a gun and he decided to kill him. Either kill him or get his money back. But he came after him and he was walking down these roads and he passed a revival meeting that was going on in this brush arbor. And he stood out in the shadows. He wouldn't go in. He had no intention of going in. But he stood out in the darkness and he listened and he heard the evangelist talk about forgiveness for sin and salvation and cleanness and that he could uh, have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And he said he had no intention of going in. He just happened to be walking by. And he heard the music and it spoke to his heart. And he said later, he even surprised himself, but he turned and he walked into that service. My grandfather was so convicted, so broken with sorrowfulness for his sin that he paused and prayed and then he walked down this sawdust aisle toward the front of the brush harbor. And he came and he knelt at this little altar and he prayed and he gave his heart to Jesus and he wept with the contrition of it. And then he put the gun down on the altar and he stood and testified to everybody who was there of what Jesus had done for him. And he said that his hatred for his brother-in-law was gone. He had nothing but love for him. And the Lord called him to preach. And for the rest of his life, he was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to as many people as would listen. And it was the turning point for his life and a moment of great significance for me when I came along later.